in these problems, we are converting between units of time, like seconds to minutes, or hours to days, or days to weeks, or years to seconds, or something like that. And to convert between time units, you either multiply or divide by the number in that list of facts, and you probably have most of those facts in your head. You probably know there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. You, I'm sure you know there are 24 hours in a day. Uh, so if you're converting between days and hours, you'd either multiply or divide by 24. If you're converting between weeks and days, you'd multiply or divide by 7. If you're computing between years and months, multiply or divide by 12. If you're not sure of any of those facts, definitely look them up. I've got a chart here in case you need it. And then the other thing to remember here is that when you're converting from a smaller to a bigger unit, you divide. And to convert to a smaller unit from a bigger unit, you multiply it. And sometimes that feels like it's backwards, but think about it. If you have something that's 12 inches high and you want to convert to feet, which is a bigger unit, that's only going to be one foot because there are 12 inches in one foot. So the number gets smaller as the unit gets bigger. Okay, let's try this. It says Austin's art class is eight hours long. How long is his class in minutes? Now, is a minute bigger or smaller than an hour? Well, you know it's smaller. So we're going to we're gonna multiply because we're going to a smaller unit. And when you go to a smaller unit, you multiply. And I know there are 60 minutes in an hour, so you're going to multiply by 60. So this problem comes down to 8 hours times 60. And 6 times 8 is 48. Add the 0 on to the end of that. you got 480 minutes. All right, let's try one more. It says, today is Boris's birthday. He's five years old. How old is Boris in months? OK. Again, we're converting from a bigger unit, years, to a smaller unit. And when we're converting to a smaller, you're going to multiply. So we're going to take that five years, and we're going to multiply it by the number of months in a year, which is 12. And let's see, 5 times 12. I can do this one in my head. I'm going to think of this 12 as 10 plus 2. 5 times 10, well, that's 50. And 5 times 2 is 10. 50 plus 10 is 60. So he is 60 months old. And that is a little bit of work with some time conversions.